Wearable devices are very popular and very widely used. And they're a real success story for the electronics industry, showing how over the last few decades, we've been able to miniaturize computing power. So it doesn't take up an entire desktop anymore. We can now get the same computing into something that fits onto your wrist. And so they're also a real success story for kind of self-monitoring and providing people information about their own body. And of course, there's lots of potential uses in healthcare and in medicine for that information, whether it be kind of monitoring people's hearts all day long in a way that we've not been able to do previously. And so they're a real success story in terms of enabling out of the clinic care but of course, in terms of any technology development, there's lots of ways that we can still make them better. And that might be improving the battery life, making them last even longer before you have to recharge them. It might be about improving the data quality, making sure that we've got the best possible data for using when we make any kind of healthcare related decisions. Or it might be about adding in more sensors measuring more things to get a better understanding of what's going on with the user's body. So my name's Alex and I'm an engineer at the University of Manchester. And what my team looks at is the engineering behind wearable devices and how can we make them better. And we do that kind of split into a few different areas. So for example, we've got programs looking at flexible electronics. So how can we make electronics that's not rigid and bulky, but can flex and can curve potentially around your arm or your wrist. We also look particularly at the real time analysis of the data that we get from wearable devices. So that might be to deliver some form of intervention or a treatment to somebody. And we can do that based upon the data that we're measuring right now. Or it might be more longer term in order to kind of inform the care planning that we need to put in place to support that particular person. And that's what I'm aiming to go over in our Q&A to explore where do we go next with our wearable devices.